What's up, people? This is Timony. We are back here. I am going to break this down for you, okay? I'm actually, it's just a little bit of an update because I did not really talk about this from when it was happening, but I am talking about it right now because we have finally got an apology from BMW. I don't know if you guys are accepting the apology or what, but BMW... South Africa has apologized for wording of its advert, which was labeled offensive and racist. On this advert, as you can see, the latest BMW advert has featured a black woman standing next to one of the brand latest BMW 5 Series models and displayed behind her is the phrase, as you can see, that says, we are our ancestors wildest dreams with the word ancestor crossed out i think this got a lot of people angry okay and i don't know if i was well i felt like i was angry about this too because i don't understand why all these multi big corporations getting a pass out of this i don't understand why People will make fun of this. These big corporations are all are owned by white people and they are using some of these black people with these marketing campaigns and all of that and then they are breaking them down. First of all, let's not even get it twisted, okay? These people, because okay, some of these people, I'm going to read some of the comments because a lot of people were not feeling what was actually being said. And there is a phrase, there is a comment that a person said here. Okay, let me see. Those people have never talked about their ancestors. They speak about their own gods. So that ad was definitely targeted at black people. That's where the racism begins. I hate touching on the subjects like this because some of these subjects are some some of these topics are really, really uh, sensitive. This was just a disappointment to see like, the big corporation like this um doing something like this i could have funny to because i felt like a lot of people were not actually going to call this out people were just just going to accept it the way it is and people are not seeing anything wrong first of all they're using the black woman for this campaign okay wrong second of all th this was the bad choice of words okay for you guys to even go back and forth with people about how they feel about this on twitter trying to emphasize that you guys were not trying to be malicious about this trying to protect your image about the damage that you are doing to the black people and we really know that you guys don't really care about that okay you guys did this because that's how you felt that most of our ancestors our color did not have any kind of money or any th things like that you know the slavery had just ended let's not even talk about that okay a lot of people are trying to get their freedom right now trying to accept most of these beautiful things and then you guys are gonna put out the advert that's so wild like this you're pretty much just telling black people our ancestors that the bmw was their wildest dreams they were not able to afford this yet all these multi-corporations were built by black people. Go to Germany, okay? It don't even mention about all these German, German industries, German cars, the slavery, using all these black people all over there, the genocide. You know, a lot of black people that were used to build these industries that couldn't even afford these expensive cars. And you are going to be getting a pass like that. Gucci has got a pass. Now BMW got a pass. Uh, Balenciaga got a pass. Adidas got a pass. It looks like people are just going to be throwing the stone and hiding their hands. It's going to be really hard because these are like luxury cars and everybody wants to drive luxuries and it's really not going to be that easy to try to cancel this. You know, I wish, I wish this, this would have happened in America. Maybe something would have been done. I don't know, but lately things are not, you know, I feel like somebody should just probably like stand up and I really applaud Ntiki Mazwai for actually standing up for this, making the people, the community, the black people, you know, to wake up and see how they've been used, okay? I don't even know the person that they got on the on the, uh, on the the campaign. He, she probably didn't even know that this is how they're going to reflect or maybe she was like, you know what? I'm getting the check. I don't mind. I don't care. They can say whatever they want. I don't care about that as long as you cut me a check, but they're going to use your face to exploit you and exploit your ancestors who were not even able to uh, uh, afford a Toyota Sierra 
or Corolla. This is really, really sad that we are actually still experiencing things like this. And I can tell you that we are still experiencing things like this. This is not the last time. This was the, the spin-off of the campaign that was launched back in uh, August 2022. They understand that the wording of this example might have offended some of the fans and they really apologize. Keep your apology. This is what you wanted. This is what you approved. Campaigns like this, the big campaigns like this, they go from table to table they get approved they get you know they get pitched they get approved stamped they go through processes and then if you guys were not able to catch that from the beginning where it was being brainstormed up to where it is right now and you guys did not see anything wrong with it I, let me tell you i've never listen i've never i've never okay maybe there's uh, all people out there that actually say that okay i've never seen a white person talk about their ancestors all they say is they're gods the gods the gods the gods you guys know what you were saying right here you know exactly what you were trying to say this is no-brainer we get it they wouldn't do this to any other religious practices so why do they feel like they have the right to use african spirituality in their marketing campaigns why Another person said, I think what I'm seeing played out is how broken black people are. How colonization and slavery has broken black people down for them to think that they are not worthy of being respected. That advert was not targeted at white people or Indian people. Listen, it's a lot of people, you know, I'm reading all these tweets and, and all of that. It's a lot. People are not happy about this. I just thought I can come share this with you, but I don't care. BMW can shove this apology down their behind. We don't care. None of us care about that. You guys keep your apology and focus on doing better. All right. Subscribe to my channel and like the video. Uh, I'll see you guys with another video, Sasa.